Hey guys, CJ here, and wow, just wow. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say about that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2 finale, so review over, right? No. Uh, this show just has kept getting better and better, and what a way to finish it off with what might be the best episode of the series yet. With the climactic and human and S.H.I.E.L.D. war taking center stage, worlds collide, and the team will never be the same. Of course, that is kind of the, uh, the sales pitch there, uh, but it, it is completely the truth. So without further ado, get ready for my review of the climactic finale of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2. And I suggest a, a potty break uh, before you watch this episode, or even watch this review, because uh, the episode is two hours. And while that seems a little long, it is completely worth it. It is jam-packed. Uh, you guys will not want to miss this one. So this episode, of course, has a ton of absolute shocker moments throughout, but in the interest of spoilers, I won't reveal them all, and actually I'll review, reveal as few as possible. And it is because this episode really needs to be seen to be believed. It's an absolute must-watch for anyone that's even only casually followed this show in the past. However, I do have to spoil some in the interest of summing up the big storylines being resolved. However, I won't spoil the endings. Uh, I've got another thing planned for that, and I'll let you know at the end of the video. So, you guys know I like to start with storylines, but there aren't a ton this week. I mean, specifically, the only two of note is the main major war between S.H.I.E.L.D. and G.I. Yang's and humans, and the earlier story of Ward and 33 torturing Bobby. But, we'll actually start with the latter. I'll honeypot you a little bit. And what actually might be an afterthought with how much of this episode was just packed with inhuman stuff, Bobby's kidnapping actually provided some very memorable moments for our team. While her torture was well written and honestly very hard for me to watch in terms of content, and spoiler warning, uh, there are needles involved. Her near death and rescue provided some of the episode's most meaningful character development, causing much of the team to rethink their own relationships, from the obvious of Hunter moving forward with the now rescue Bobby, to May actually reconnecting with her ex-husband Andrew, and even Simmons rekindling the flame between her and Fitz, much to the pleasure of myself as a die-hard Fitzsimmons shippers. You go get that, Fitz! You get it! And that's, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about that. But perhaps the moment that will get the most play moving forward was Ward accidentally shooting his main squeeze, Agent 33, who had disguised herself as May while they went after uh, the S.H.I.E.L.D. rescue team. And that's what you get for hanging out with shapeshifters. Uh, they will take the forms of your enemies and you will accidentally shoot them. Uh, word of warning to the audience. And this actually was, it was a really interesting twist, not only because, you know, wow, she's dead, but it was really interesting that Ward actually cared for her. That was the big kind of question mark about that whole relationship was it seemed so twisted and backwards that a lot of people like myself thought he was just manipulating her, but that wasn't the case. Uh, he actually did care deeply for her and is now in a much worse off place, and that's all I'll say about that for now. But the real story here, of course, was the Inhuman War. It's what you all want, right? Uh, and WoW, to sum this up, is, is going to be incredibly difficult, uh, but I guess i got to give it a shot. So, let's just say, in summary, uh, Jia Ying goes to the dark side, takes over the SS Gonzalez, and kills a lot of innocent people, including, spoiler, Reyna. It's during this time that we also get a chance to see the real Cal Zebo, and by that I mean, of course, his drug-induced, psychotic, rage-beast alter-ego Mr. Hyde in one of the real show-stopping moments of the season. And while it was hammy, and Hyde was hammy, as the, he's... He, Tom McLaughlin has been criticized a lot for, for his character uh, and just how kind of goofy uh, he is, but I personally love it, and I've got to say, my biggest highlight has to be Hyde in this episode. I mean, uh, it's the absolute comic book joy of seeing that character come to the small screen, and it, it's just a bigger part of Kyle McLaughlin and how he's been an absolute delight on this show. And though he may not be a massive part of its future going forward with the end of this episode and the Twin Peaks sequel coming up, uh, it's just great to have him there and it's also great how Tol Coulson talked the beast down uh, and that really tied into the second act of this finale as well as Jia Ying's ultimate end so the final assault on the SS Jia Ying sees some new alliance f alliances formed with both Hyde and Lincoln joining our good guys to take on the rogue in humans while Sky went to confront her mother uh, side note here the line of the episode I know I'd like to do quote of the week because there are just so many great ones and I, I kind of fell behind on that but quote of the week here as Coulson, Mac, and Fitz team up to take down the teleporting Gordon and having nullified a disbelieving Gordon's teleportation with one of his devices Fitz drops the line of the year science biatch and I want that shit on a t-shirt ASAP so somebody work on that um, hopefully S.H.I.E.L.D. works on that because I would buy pretty much all of them that they needed to make a profit now, speaking of that scene, one of the real highlights of this episode is the metric ton of incredible fight sequences featuring pretty much every character from Ward to Coulson, Bobby, May, Lincoln, Fitz, Gordon, and especially Sky, because there was one that was incredible. Uh, it was it was all shot in one take, like some some form of, uh, I guess, like that old boy scene. Not nearly kind of as, as cool as that old boy scene, but it was really, really incredibly good work uh, by the stunt crew, by the cinematographer. 
really great job. It really, the fight scenes provided a lot of style to this episode, which also had its fair share of substance. And speaking of substance, Jia Yang's truly villainous nature was the real showstopper in this one. And it started with her cold-blooded murder of Reyna, who of course saw it coming but went anyways in a small act of redemption, which nicely brought her whole character arc to a close. Uh, but, however, perhaps the sign of her true villainy was that her healing powers required her to steal the life, life force from others, and that's Jia Ying, not Reyna, uh, which really played a big role in the ending that I won't spoil for you, because I really think that even if you don't watch that episode, I want you to go watch that scene. It's so, so feelsy, but so great. Now, the only other thing I can say is that this was an incredibly written episode, heavy with equal parts action and emotion, and it really paid off. So the big complaint about pacing that I have had all season still carries over, which I kind of feel like the war probably could have been more than just this episode. And it could have, it, it sh I feel like, it, part of me feels like it should have lasted, like something as big as an inhuman war uh, should have lasted a little bit longer. Uh, a two hour episode felt to be the perfect length to tell the story they wanted to tell, and even though longer than normal, it really left me wanting more. I mean, I was glued to this couch for two hours, I did not get up for anything. And I still wanted more. I, I still wanted another hour, uh, especially because of some of the shockers at the end. Oh. Ultimately, I'll give the Season 2 finale of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. a 9.5 out of 10, uh, though the highest praise I can give it is that it's much better than last season's due to the strength of its villain and its action, emotion, and twists and turns throughout. And I thought pretty highly of last season's finale. So, looking ahead, I will have a full season review up on Thursday. I will have another video, a full spoiler video for you guys. Uh, I, it, it'll be coming out a few days after that, probably sometime this weekend. Um, and that's going to be a full a full spoiler video. Looking forward to the show's recently announced season three. So if you're new, of course, do not forget to like and show us that you love us by subscribing. But also give me your thoughts on Shield season two finale in the comments below. What did you think? You guys know we love hearing from you, and we really try to interact with a lot of you in the comments. Uh, so signing off, this is CJ, and I can't wait till next fall. Oh hey. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you just saw. I don't know what exactly you just saw, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you really did like it, go check out our other stuff. You know, we have social media, Facebook, Twitter. The link should be somewhere here. Also, we have other channels too. We have our movie video game channel. We have our music channel. Obviously, our comic book channel too, because we know we do all that entertainment awesomeness. We also have a website. Go to our website, hypernetworkyt.com. And check out our other videos. Uh, that's all I really have to say. It's Josh, and you know I hope you guys enjoyed you know what you watched.